Gemini's welcome to my channel so this is going to be a quick energy check-in reading for you guys we're gonna see what messages the universe has for you so let's jump in let's see Spirit, what messages do you have for this quick energy check-in reading for Gemini's all right so we have the full card so there's a new beginning that's coming your way possibly with an Aries we'll see something starting over for you someone wants to start over with you um, we have victory, the six of wands. So there's going to be a victory coming towards you. We have the chariot. Yeah, somebody's coming back towards you. It could be a cancer for some of you. Or a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We have the three of wands. So someone is waiting for you to reach out. Whose reading was just like this? Was it Aries or Taurus? I don't know which one. I can't remember. Some of you could be dealing with the uh, a Taurus or an Aries. Because I feel like they have this Three of Wands in the same position of someone waiting for you to reach out. Waiting for you to talk to them and let them know what's on your mind. Spirit, what messages do you have for Gemini's? Yeah. We have the Three of Cups. So expect a reunion with this person. It could be a water sign, Cancer, Pisces. Oh, yeah. Somebody loves you, Gemini. They love you. Two of Cups. The universe has spoken. Yep, Knight of Cups. <laughs> Here it is, like big time, Gemini. Somebody wants this back with you, but I feel like this person could be waiting to see if you're going to do something or say something, or they're waiting to see what's on your mind. All right. You guys may just be standing your ground with something, or maybe you're pissed off with somebody. Spirit, what messages do you have for Gemini's? Nine of Pentacles. Some of you are just working, worrying about yourself. It's like you don't have a care in the world right now. You're not stressing about anything. You may be looking at the situation like you did your best. You gave it all you had. Um, you could be sad about it, though. I don't know why I'm picking up some sort of melancholy energy of wishing things had went differently. Spirit, what messages do you have for Gemini's? Mm, the death card. There's some changes coming, possibly with a Scorpio. We also have the nine of swords. So some of you are stressing about something, but you don't have to, and you don't even know it. Um, also, I'm picking up the energy that someone is stressing about you as well. So it's like you're stressing about someone, they're stressing about you, and both of you guys want this to work with the three of pentacles. Could be an earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. I feel like something ended, but it's going to start right back up with the death card. Oh, yeah, all of these cards wanted to come right out of the deck. But the one that turned over was the Eight of Wands here with the Ace of Pentacles. Yep, and the Five of Cups. Somebody is feeling like this just can't end. I just I won't. It's just like they won't allow it or they don't want it to. They've had some time to think about something. With this Ace of Pentacles and the Eight of Wands, someone's going to be messaging you like really fast, really quick messages. This person want to get something off their chest or they they want to tell you what they're thinking or what they feel about a situation. So whatever you went through with this person, Gemini, I feel like somebody wants to clear up something or they want to talk about something and they want to do it quickly. They feel like you guys are wasting time. Could be... Um, a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, possibly a Sagittarius with the Knight of Wands. And we have the Ace of Swords here. Someone wants to be honest and truthful with you about something here. They feel like they, um, I feel like this person may feel like they handled the situation. They mishandled the situation. Yeah, that's what I'm picking up. They mishandled the situation or they didn't take your feelings into consideration. Spirit, what messages do you have for Gemini's? Yeah, the moon card. They're hiding how they truly feel about you right now. Or they're hiding that they're burdened by the situation with the Ten of Wands. I feel like this is all they think about. Yep, and here we are with the Four of Swords. So this person is like, I want to fix this. I want to clear something up. I want to talk about something. But I don't want Gemini to know how bad I'm stressing over this. Ace of Wands. 
They're very passionate about you. This person missed the sex, the passion, the chemistry, whatever it was that you brought to the connection. They're missing that. They haven't found that in anyone else. It's like they long for it. This could also be you feeling, I don't know why I feel um, in this reading, Gemini, that however this person is feeling about you, you feel the same way about them. The same way. And it's like neither one of you guys are telling each other what you feel. Spirit, what messages do you have for Gemini's? All right, so this card wanted to pop out. We have the Princess of Swords. So someone is keeping their eye on you. Someone is watching the situation, watching you. Um, they could be watching your social media. They could be driving by your house. Someone wants to know what you're up to. With this Princess of Swords. Spirit, what messages do you have for this quick energy check-in? Oh, somebody is so sad with the three of swords. They want to make something work with you. But this person could be too stubborn to reach out to you right now. Or they just don't know what to say. They don't want to screw things up any further. We have the Princess of Cups. So with the Page of Cups here, this person is trying to figure out what options do they have. Should they reach out to you? Should they not? Should they try to make this work again? Is it worth it? Um, can you guys come back together? I just feel like something ended with the death card, but then it's like it's not over. Spare, what messages do you have for Gemini's? Mm. <laughs> okay, so yeah, the King of Wands and the Sun. So some of you could be dealing with the Leo. Or you're dealing with someone who's very fond of you. Very passionate. There's a lot of fire here with this King of Wands. I feel like they think about what used to be between the two of you and they want the happy times back with the sun card. So if you could have a baby by this person, you could have a little boy. That's what it looks like here. All right. So yeah, this person was being sneaky about something with the seven of swords, but I feel like they don't want to be that way anymore. They're trying to make some sort of decision here. Yeah, they want to come out of... It's like something ended with the Ten of Swords, but they don't want this ending. This person is taking a long time to come in, though, with the Knight of Pentacles. Could be an Earth sign. Virgo Taurus Capricorn. Someone may be realizing they made a mistake. Some of you are dealing with someone who's married with the Hierophant. Yeah, they could be married to an Aquarius. We have the Hierophant and the Star card here. So some of you could be dealing with a Taurus or an Aquarius or someone that you're dealing with is married to an Aquarius. Spare, what messages do you have? What messages do you have for this quick energy check-in reading? All right, so we have the Queen of Cups and the ten of cups so this is how this person views this connection okay some of you could be dealing with the water sign cancer pisces scorpio but if not they're full of emotions right now for you for the connection for the entire situation i feel like this person wants to let you know how much they love you but somebody here their ego and their pride is taking over big time all right so let's get some messages for you guys so let's see what else the universe has to say spare what messages do you have for gemini's what messages do you have for gemini's for this quick energy check in reading mm-hmm Compromise and sacrifice. Let's find a way to compromise instead of giving up on us. There's a sacrifice I need to make. I'm not sure if I'm ready. So I feel like the person that you're dealing with, there's something that they have to do or think about doing in order to come back toward you. They don't know if they're ready. 
I feel like someone is dealing with another person, whether they're married, committed, or just living with that person. And it's like they have, in order for them to come towards you, they would have to give up that entire situation. And they don't know if that's something that they're wanting to do. That's probably what's taking this person so long to come back towards you, Gemini. They want to compromise with you, but they don't feel like you're going to compromise. Spare, what messages do you have? Yeah, this person misses the sex with you. The sexual connection, I feel like, was off the chain between the two of you. We have burdens. Been feeling overwhelmed. I have a lot going on in my life right now. This person may be suffering in a lot of ways. They may have a lot weighing on them. Share what messages do you have for Gemini's? For this quick energy check and reading. Oh, okay. So this person will call. We have soulmate. They will call in loneliness. You are my soulmate. A dream come true. I'm feeling the burn of loneliness, but I'm ashamed to admit that. Yeah, they don't want you to know that they miss you and that they love you. Spirit, what messages do you have? What messages do you have for Gemini? Oh, this person feels helpless. They feel like they broke promises with you or something. I feel trapped by my circumstances. There's nothing I can do. Misled, trust is broken, unreliable. This person is afraid of how you're looking at them now or how you're viewing them. We also have angry. I'm angry at myself and sometimes even you for how things turned out. So you could be dealing with someone who's a bit of a narcissist. Okay. Um, instead of them taking full accountability for what they did they want you to take some of the blame as well <laughs> okay so what messages do you have for Gemini's all right so we have ghosting abrupt ending no closure ending all communication but now this person wants to have a heart-to-heart -heart talk Heart-to-heart -heart conversation, being vulnerable with each other, finding a workable compromise. Again, this person wants to compromise. They want to talk about something, but I feel like they're holding back. Their pride in their ego is taking um, hold of their emotions. And we have almost there. Answers are close. Don't give up. A new beginning is close. So those are the messages that I have for your quick energy check-in reading, Gemini's. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you guys are going through out there. You can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram at My Cards Never Lie to Row. I'm also on TikTok at The Empress 522. And I will see you guys in the next reading. Bye.